25 years ago today, the episode The Last Laugh aired for Batman the Animated Series, September 22nd, 1992. Hello friends, welcome back to the show. I'm Andy Canode, and this is the show where we are going back into our childhood and watching Batman the Animated Series on the 25th anniversary of each and every episode. I give you a little review, I give you a little breakdown, and we talk about some interesting things of watching the episodes now through the perspective of a 35-year-old versus a 10-year-old. So if you haven't, please click the subscribe and the little bell notification so that you know when all the episodes come out. you of all the disgusting now today we're talking about the episode The Last Laugh. This is now the third appearance of the Joker. Sounds like a rather dirty April Fool's prank. Sounds like the Joker. Of the first four episodes produced, two of the episodes were with the Joker. One was Christmas with the Joker, which I think was the second episode which we haven't reviewed yet, but we will. And the other one is this episode, The Last Laugh, which was the fourth episode ever produced. But I think it's odd that the the two other episodes that they choose was The Joker's Favor and Be a Clown versus this one. But before we get too far along, let's throw the Joker bomb up on the screen. And let's see if I can give you the rundown of this episode in 30 seconds. I really, honestly, I know there's those of you that are skeptical, but I truly feel like I might be able to do this in 30 seconds. So here we go. It is April Fool's Day in Gotham and the Joker is appropriately traveling through the city on a large garbage freighter spraying out laughing gas. While everybody's laughing and losing their minds, Joker and his henchmen are going on a shopping spree, if you will, and taking out whatever jewels and treasures that they want to get. When the gas affects Alfred, Batman's butler, Bruce Wayne's butler rather, uh, Batman takes it personally and seeks out to stop the, the Joker and he travels to the garbage dump and defeats him there. Hey, <laughs> I told you I could do it. Clean up your act, Joker. Oh, that's a joke, right? Batman finally told a joke. <laughs> so let me get right down to it. The, the, area that's odd for me is why this episode aired so much later. Of the three episodes with the Joker that we've seen so far, this is the first one that's really truly just Batman and the Joker going head to head. It's a pretty generic plot. It's a pretty simple story. I say generic. That's maybe not the kindest way to say it. It's a pretty simple story. It matches up with Joker's motif as it is. He's spraying out laughing gas, just taking whatever he wants while people are, and, and having fun doing it. There's a lot of, a lot of one-liners, a lot of jokes. When the going gets tough, the tough go shopping. It really is the last part, once Alfred is affected with the gas, Batman ends up just going head to head, him and the Joker. So for that reason, it, it's, it's odd. Why wouldn't they want to start off? This was obviously already produced, so why? Why wouldn't you want to start off with the Joker and Batman? That's classic Batman. Although I do think that in Joker's favor, when Charlie first meets up with the Joker, it establishes the character quite well. I think that this is a nice head-to-head -head battle in that. Justice is served hot, Batman! You're going to melt just like a grilled cheese sandwich! Also, aside from this being the third episode with the Joker, I find it interesting that there we have yet to see an episode with the Penguin. And I know that the first episode featured Catwoman, and the reasoning for that was so that they could capitalize on the fame of... Batman Returns, but we, we have yet to see the Penguin, which I think is a little odd. But we do get to see the Bat Boat, which was featured in Batman Returns. So that was kind of neat. Also, when you look at the Joker's henchmen, you will notice that Christopher Nolan was not the first one to have the Joker's guys wearing Joker masks. As this episode proves, that was not an original idea. And I do have to say too, I, I honestly don't remember much about this episode, perhaps because it is, it is kind of a basic, simple Batman versus the Joker story. So I think that it kind of 
some elements of this uh, episode kind of fall in the mix with all the other episodes. Before I watched it today, I couldn't have told you what this episode was about. But watching it, there were certain images that I do remember. And one is Captain Clown, which I think is just a, a great character. I think that that's uh Who shouldn't have made Captain Clown mad? <laughs> And also, for some reason, the image when when Batman's trapped in the trash can and falls to the bottom of the, the river, that you see the bat boat come up. And for some reason, the image of the can getting sliced open and Batman swimming out always stuck out in my mind because I didn't understand where Batman fit in there. It's a lot of, a lot of space. The other thing that I remembered very distinctly about this episode is the theme music. <laughs> I think because it's so different from what we've heard in Batman the Animated Series so far that it's got a little bit of a beat, a little bit of a groove, and that one always stood out to me. I also noticed as I was watching it through today that, if I'm not mistaken, they snuck in the Danny Elfman theme into the episode. And I don't mean the theme for this show, but I mean the theme from the original movie. Tell me if I'm wrong. So as it comes time to place this one, it was a little challenging because it was just kind of fun to watch. I don't think that there was any uh, anything groundbreaking or earth shattering about this episode. I just slipped it right in the number 10 slot just below Be a Clown because I think Be a Clown had a little bit elevated of a story and we get to see a better performance from Mark Hamill as the Joker just because he has more to do and he's playing Jekko. It's it's a fun episode to watch. It just didn't have a story that really resonated like some of the other ones. You kill Captain Clown. You kill Captain Clown. So in the comments below, we've seen three Joker episodes so far, but let me know what your favorite Joker episode is from Batman the Animated Series. And it doesn't have to be one that we've reviewed so far, just of the entire series, what what is your favorite episode of the Joker that features the Joker the best? Get ready, boys. Here it comes. If you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. And thank you so much for all the comments that have been coming through. We've been having some great conversations uh, going back and forth of just different ideas and different thoughts and, and your memories of the show. So I appreciate everybody that's been commenting and please jump in on the conversation because there's some I'm finding that there's a lot of fans of Batman the Animated Series that are just like us that grew up just like me and it's fun to to talk with you below so please continue that conversation and don't forget to tune in tomorrow when we talk about eternal youth I'm Andy Canode thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow